this is Itumeleng Uketimonwani. I'm the host of uh, the newly um, proclaimed show called The Round Table. Uh, Mosho Nyarona will be discussing political issues as well as providing our, our party. Monana um, Kokilinke, I have Mr. Hoto, Mr. Hoto Ngamlana. Um, he will be telling us more about the movement called Adrenaline Rush Empowerment Movement as well as providing the party AASD. On my left hand side, I'm going to make a Kimukwena from Aya. Yes, um, Mr. Hoto, yes, can you please just tell us more about um, Adrenaline Rush Empowerment Movement as well as AASD? Okay, my name is Hoto Ngamlana representing African Alliance of Social Democrats. Before I tell you Itu, about the Adrenaline Rush movement, okay. let me first uh, tell you where it came from. Because of the African Alliance of Social Democrats as a party, we have come up with a plan of going to the youth and the community at large with a movement called Bua Hela Mocha. But now Bua Hela Mocha mainly focuses on the youth and not the underdeveloped community. Okay. Now, we, we've decided to go bigger on the concept and say, let's make it an adrenaline rush movement. An adrenaline rush movement mainly concepts uh, the fact that we want a, a gig or movements or parties that are not going to include or involve alcohol and drugs. For some reason, these are the two main factors that are killing our youth currently and they are disadvantaging our communities currently. African Alliance of Social Democrats on its own aims at uplifting everyone who is seen to be beneath the belt, if I may put it that way. Now, with, in conjunction with AYA, Africa Youth Arise, we have come up with an initiative that will go to almost every school and every underdeveloped uh, community as to source talent and to explore the talent that is in most of these communities. All right, all right. So, um, would you be able to tell us more about how exactly are you going to source this talent? Right. Now, basically, in every community, there's about minimum of four primary schools and four high schools in, in most communities that have been around. There's a minimum of four primary schools and four high schools. Uh, now, growing up, there were sports fields in especially township schools. Mm. Now, could could have been disadvantaged communities, especially township schools. There were sports fields where kids would <coughs> normally go there after school, but whatever they want to play. But with the development happening in the small townships where we have now a number of more students or more learners going to schools, the, the education department saw to it best as to cut more Moody school, uh, facilities, sports facilities, and to add the class, so uh, as to have more educate, uh, educated learners again. But now, this comes as a, as a disadvantage because now, the, the, the youth is not playing. On, on that note, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. On that note, does it make any sense for the government to cut on um, sports facilities so that they could accommodate more students? Does that make any sense to you? Uh, there's, there's two sides to every story. Okay. Yes, it makes sense that the government should cut fields and uh, build in more classes. One, I don't know if you the Jarta that you call the application in the Dinya and the number of people living in Kokasi or Getech. So we need classes of buyer to accommodate everyone. But wouldn't it be better for, for the government to build in the schools altogether? It would have been better for the government. 30 years ago to start implementing or designing schools that are like your Bloomfontein, your Grey College has been there since 19 or what? Before the was. Yes. Oh, well. So if after 1994 the, 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 the ruling government or the ruling party or the government had decided, okay, let's go to Tabanusha Trust and build a school like Grey College, which has swimming facilities and all other sports and codes. More facilities here. We wouldn't be faced with a, a problem of okay, increasing classes at school. So, yes, it's fine for them to increase, but at the same time, it's not. Because now, you are curbing on the playing part of Wanumunya. Okay. And Wanumunya, if Asadali, the brain plays with them. Oh, I understand. 
So that's where Aya comes in. Aya says, okay, I know the sporting field. It's okay, you can have the class. How does a small portion here jump to school and play indigenous games so that the, the kids can have an extramural activity? How does say that same hall you build as a, as a school, they go on and have debates? That encourages kids to go to school because A, B, C, D, up to Z, I have all right. It's, it's so boring that I think I, I can put on the line and say no kid under 10 can do the alphabets backward. Backwards. Yeah. Z, Z, Y, X. Going backwards. Yes. All right. I can't. Before. That's the thing. Before, now. Before, because I can see that you're passionate about this. Would it be okay, sorry, mind my rudeness, for Miss Kathy Mokwena, just to introduce a bit about Aya, so that we could then get into any discussion. Would that be okay? Yes. That's, that's it. I'm, 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 good, I'm good with that. Can, I'm good with can, that. You, can you at least just tell us more about yourself and Aya? Um, about myself, I'm Dakiawa Mokwena. I'm born and raised in Bloemfontein. Um, two siblings, two parents, a uh, very happy home. Um, but I was raised in a home where we serve. It's always been a thing from, um, I'm sure my grandparents and my great grandparents were born and raised in homes where we, where so. they serve, you know, um, what, like, like what I like to say is what we are building is not just for us, you know, and my parents have always said they have lots of children, you know, because they understand that everything that they do, yes, they can help their children grow what they want, you know, and live a happy life and be successful. But I mean, if you can't treat people right and see the injustices around the world and also in our community, then like what what is it for? You know, just living in your comfortable home and that's it, you know like and everything around you is crumbling so Aya is a youth organization um but also helping women and children like there's women children it's not just for and, youth and the lgbtq yes let's for, not forget our community it's for everyone you know it's come as you are, you know. We don't say youth stops at a certain age. I always like to say that the youth goes up until Sasa. So, um, because I feel like we can't, like, I feel like a lot of people, like women, children, we're left out of a lot of discussions. We don't want to leave anyone out of the discussion. It's come as you are, whether it be lower class, whether it be upper class, whether it be like employed, unemployed, in everyone, LGBT, straight, you know, it's just come as you are and let us try and fix the mess in our city together. And um, let us try and be a part of the conversation. And I love that AASD has allowed us to be a part of so many conversations. And I, I think that's the biggest thing I love about AASD is that they don't leave the youth out of the conversation because you can't be like someone that's 65 and making decisions for us, you know. We can't leave that in the uh, um, older people's hands. We, they, like, the things that they are deciding for us are going to affect us. And I'm not wishing anything on anyone, <laughs> but 30 years from they're now... They're not going to be here. They're not going to be here. 30 years is, is a lot. That's the a minister, long the minister of The Minister of Youth currently, not also wishing anything on anybody, like, but the Minister of Youth currently, Yeah. my grandmother would, would say at, at, at her age back then, like, Send me look over. Meaning? Do, do, do what you have to do, Hozo, because I've lived mine. Mm. I'm just waiting for my for my call and then I'm gone. So if you're going to make those mistakes now, you live with them. I'm not going to say, go and don't date three girls at the same time. They, they're going to block your, your, your vision and, and, and going forward and your goals. Yeah. But in reality, you know, 
you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Because, like you say, the the youth never grows old unless you decide that you're old. Yeah. They say that Yes. And then no so we have been we are being um, um, pressured into thinking that if you you are above 35, you no longer form part of the youth. Which is, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And even with that, my grandmother, like my grandmother also used to say, and my mom reminds me a lot, that, um, that they, like she like would want to go to the strikes, the do it ways, she they, mm-hmm. because she believed that they need to fight for us where we are not given that platform, you know, like where I appreciate that ASD is giving that platform and saying that, yes, we are going to fight, but we know that we are fighting for you. And that's a big thing about ASD is that the youth is not thrown to the side and the decisions are not made just for tomorrow. They're made for multiple years to come and our grandchildren and our great grandchildren. So I think, <laughs> sorry, long story short, um, we are very passionate about this. Yeah, because I, can, I can tell, I can tell. I think it's been a long time coming where um, the youth is just, we are angry. And that's also um, a huge thing about Aya is let us be angry together and come up with a solution. Mm. Being angry and doing nothing is not going to help us, you know. Like just tweeting and and hashing it out, that's not going to do anything for us. Let us be a part of the solution. Let us speak. Let us shout. Let us do it, do it, you know. So um, I think that's very beautiful. And that is what we're trying to do. And also trying to give um an outlet for like these emotions and stuff that they can be like expressed in a healthy way Mm. because i think that's very important because our youth are so hurt and angry that they are turning to things that they shouldn't be Mm -hmm. so like giving them a place where we can play and laugh together on on that note Uh what gave birth to aya what one specific thing that happened that made Aya what it is today? That epiphany moment. Yes. Um, I think since I was very small, um, my parents have had foundations. They've been doing community work, and I have always had that interest. And I think um, when Aya was like when we like brought Aya forward, we, I, I at some point um, gave this speech and it, I was saying how when I was young, I was kind of oblivious to the things that were happening, like I understand like my family brought us forward and like showed us like, oh, these people are going through this, but I didn't understand, I was young, you know, and the one day I just remember like looking out the window and, not, and I was like, why are these people on the street and it's late, aren't they going home? And my parents were like, where must they go? They don't have a home. So it was them when you saw street kids? Yeah, like it didn't, I didn't understand. Like I was like, there's children that are not going to school. These parents, they don't have a home. They're sleeping with blankets outside. I didn't understand that. And that night, um, it rained. And I sat on the balcony <laughs> and just let the rain fall on me because so as to feel what yes. people feel. And I don't know why I thought if I'm in that situation as well, it will help them, it will take that pain away. But I realized that that won't work. But I was so young. It's and the same so sentiment. I, 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 I admire that. I admire that. It's the same sentiment as people who fast. Yeah. Because people who fast will normally say it normally have food in the house. My brother, I would die. That's why I get it. You would also die standing outside from the rain because you know how hard that is. You know how hard that is. Okay. This one lady who once told me that You know that feeling. A beautiful moment. There's, a, there's people who don't know that. Yeah. That's why I get surprised when Kat says, 
or that should be on a parents or just a thing, right? Yeah. And these people going home. Have a difference? There you go. Yes. There is a question that I have for you, right? Regarding um, adrenaline rush mm -hmm. empowerment movement. Mm -hmm. Do you perhaps have a program or that you are going to follow? Mm -hmm. Or do you, do you have steps? Tell for the in order for, for your success. Now, for for this to become a success, okay. we need specific steps to follow. And and what what goals, if I may ask, do you do you have in mind? Goals. Yes. I would one day like to sit on my couch and see a Cristiano Ronaldo I picked up from the streets. Yes. I, I, I would like to sit on my TV and see a youngster CPT that I saw, I picked up. Like yeah. I was, I was there. Nigel I saw that boy and gave them that platform. and gave them that platform. Yeah. So because I am, I, I'm given a platform right now. A follow up question regarding that. So because we've seen this happening in in many many instances, instances. where people will try to help other people and then amidst the way they just leave them there. You understand? They don't. They don't follow through to see the success of the other person. Okay. No, no, no. no. Let, 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 him, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Okay, okay. Yes. But then can I ask that? Okay. A little bit. All right. Okay. Um, the with that being said, mm -hmm. like, um, ASD has. They have programs where they are helping to educate, like like put um, others through school and yes. stuff. There's equity, um, equity. Is this is this equity? But uh, um, which is currently uh, working. This equity, which is currently helping, I think three of us. And that's just in here. That's just in, that's, that's just, just in the around me. Okay. Yes. 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 So how do like people then get? Into these equities is your is your funding scheme. Okay. Every equities. Every every okay. year, just just as any other funding scheme does. Every year, October they open up. You apply. They reply. They reply very quick. You reply yeah. very quick. Um, be sure. Be sure to check that out. Now, before like every other institution, before you apply, you need to have You need to be registered first, mm -hmm. so that they pay. Directly, also, oh, so it's it's like a, a f educational fund. Yes, that's not right. only that's, not that's only that's education. That's, that's, is, that's, is, that's, is, is it is it going to be like like Ennisfus where the, the the students have to go into a no? It's not going to be no, like Ennisfus. No, no way. I've never no. heard a story where the like someone was being you know what's funny? No, the fun part, part the fun part about the the fun part about the they have a budget now. Yeah, okay. let's say like. There's 80 million. I didn't even know about that. Really? Honestly. Right. I'll, give, I'll give you more sites. Now, the reason behind this is, is us giving up that information. I'll yeah. give you more sites on where to check for these buzzeries. Please do that. Every day. Young Kindle. This year, Young Kindle. Okay. Now, Equazy has this strategy. They have 80 million every year. Then they will, they will have the 80 million. And then we apply. Okay. From those applications, they check academic criteria. Yes. yes. You have to meet certain criteria. So the money is there. So the money is there. Oh, guys, guys, guys. It's not NSFAS, it's not NSFAS which says we need the data and then we'll give the data. Because I'm here. People, you heard about the quiz. Please be sure to check it. A few hot is another fun site and adversaries that are available, right? And on that note, a few said that they reply quickly. I have with me at least two people, very intelligent. Who cannot access the adversaries because there's you know, you know corruptions and stuff. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not corruption. Sometimes it's that if when they do your credit check, they find out that your father can afford it. And okay. Cannot, I'm not. Yes. I will yes. as fast, but I'm just saying. Yes. I cannot afford. I cannot. I cannot yeah, apply. But, I mean, they're still accepting people and not giving them money. So I mean, yes, I understand that. Okay. Like, yeah, I understand getting. Rejected people get rejected from bursaries every day. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a thing, but it doesn't make sense when you're saying yes, come, I'll put you through school, and I'm not giving you the funds for now. I'm not paying. How budget? Yes, but who's <laughs> who's 
whose fault is that? Because somewhere along the line, like you can't say it's filtering. Yes, like you it's can't say that. Filtering. How yeah. is it that every single year there's we, no money? Things are being burnt. Let me school you guys. Let me school you guys. Things are being burnt. In that time when I was mayor of Malawi, 2000 and what? No, I was mayor. 2000, <laughs> 2000, 2005, No, lo lower. I was, because I think when I was, I think five or six, that's when he was out. Oh, um, well, okay. <laughs> 2004, <laughs> I think. Okay, okay. The, the, reason, the reason I wanted the accurate yeah. year is, is for, 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 for us to go and make our research again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Accurate, I want to school you guys got uh, this money thing with the government. That when I was mayor of Malawi, 2004, 5, 6, 7. Somewhere there, before, uh, I was still in high school. When that time when I was mayor of Malawi. You were in high school? It's possible. I'm a fossil. 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 i am a on top of it being number one, the cleanest, number one, the busiest wait, city on the move. Wait, 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 wait. You said that is like in 2010. No, no, no. no, no before no. 2010. That's 2010. like, like I'm saying he went out of office okay. in about right. 2004. 2004. So maybe even lower. From from millennia, I I can say from 2000 to 2004. Okay. Mm. We'll, we'll research on that. But there was extra. Oh, yeah. Why? Malawung was regarded the cleanest city in the world. Nobody knows that. Two. Three. It was regarded the busiest in Mzans. All that spiraled. Yeah, it's like a switch. To, to, to what NSFAS is right now. Mm -hmm. NSFAS was supposed to have enough funds. For everyone. Okay. Everything, everything was supposed to have enough funds. Like. <laughs> and then you guys are laughing. And then you guys are laughing. This is no, something that's true. Laugh, it's true. 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 Honestly, because it doesn't make sense. Like, everything. And All right. the switch is Listen blocked. to this. Listen to this question now. Because of the, the broken system, if I'm yeah. saying. It is. What is Aya proposing and what is um, African Alliance for Social Democracy? No, 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 no. Adrenaline Rights Empowerment Movement proposing. What proposal do you have for the youth? Okay, let, let me put it this way because now that's why I was, I was saying what African, African Alliance for Social Democracy proposing. Okay. It is proposing the Adrenal Rush okay. brought to you by African Youth Alliance. Okay. Right. So, what, what we are basically doing. Um, AASD and I is together is, is, is giving that putting that platform with, with the production team with the production team Kalogo 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 it's all about take back mm. what's rightfully yours take him back Malo. take our system for now for now for now yeah, take we back have, we have to start somewhere yes start somewhere. it's all about taking back what is rightfully at yours at this point and the take first, back South Africa at this point at this point no take back your voices yeah take back your voices we cannot be living on hope what vision 2060 we are it's about the future like yes it's about now but it's about the future we we can't be saying the same thing over and over, over and over. In and twenty years, you can't have these same, these same um like problems. It's, it's, it's draining. Honestly, how would you, how would you feel in twenty years? Go, I rather be trusted because there's a lot of land. There's a lot of land. How would you feel in in twenty years? Go, go be trusting, and you find something like Gray and Unisi somewhere, somewhere, there. somewhere. There. There's a podcast I was watching. Yeah, that's 
I'll come to that. I'll come to that. To some extent. I'll come to that. Ah, guys. To some extent. Don't be loud. I know. So, you want to go to the house? You And then you had a break to lay. Musculosi. Here's a school for Chastain. A public school, not private. But Richard, what moment is it allowed? This, your, your, Tabale, what, what, these schools are still separate and separate and separate and separate. We can do that. That's the case at the college. And whoever ordering Kibuamaka should come and, and show me how we cannot do that. That's what also, like, I, I keep um, saying and um, sorry to bring Christianity into this. In my prayers, I, I keep saying our, our youth deserves it. I deserve it. We deserve and better. We deserve better. And the thing is, like, I feel like ASD deserves to be in the like the big conversations and in Parliament. Yes, and yes. we as the people deserve ASD because I feel like they are really focused on the people. The fact that like. Thinking like that is not too big. That is not too big. I don't understand how we, like, I think as people, we're so used to the bare minimum from our government that that sounds crazy. Okay. All right. Um, when I went through the WASD mm -hmm. website, I saw that one of the overarching uh, concepts is socio-economic equality. Some sort, right? Mm -hmm. How, how then, if I may put you guys on the spot, how then do you think we are going to do that, given the current situation? You know? Socio-economic? Equality. Equality. Yes. Socio-economic? Equality. Build a school that is similar to those that are paying thousands for those that cannot pay thousands. So that is, that is where the foundation is at? Not obviously. Not obviously, right. because, now, because now you will have the same, we, we will have the same facilities. We cannot it's equality. Be, born it better. be equal. Why can we not get Penny Haynes from Gas? Who's Penny Haynes? Oh my goodness. The thing is, <laughs> ah, you see, that's why, <laughs> that's <laughs> why the youth, that's why the, the, the youth, but I talk about that, the youth end up. Yeah, yeah. Penny yeah. Haynes, that's, that's this, is, this is very interesting. That's this is very, very interesting. What, 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 why can't we, why can't we? Yeah. As soon as 1998 and Cricket Association brought, uh, brought in itself to location, we got Bo Kakisho Rabat. As soon as that, we got Bo Kakisho Rabat. As soon as right, we decided, okay, we are going to take Eastern Cape seriously now, we got Bo Sia Police. We told our name, our best swimmer. And even with that being said, like, just having um like the gray college quality schools um for like all communities we're not saying just um it must look pretty no. we're saying the opportunities that they get yes other children need to get as well because it, it like how is it equal if like you are saying to someone from Grey College that they must start from here the minute they leave school. Not even when they leave school, when they start when they school. Start. But the rest are here. Like, how are they getting opportunities where you're like, okay, they can be taken to the, um, maybe the museums in Bloemfontein. Nah. Like, they are taught, like, they, they tour it and they can, they learning things that we should know as, People in Bloemfontein and South Africans, you know, but then the people in Great College are going to the one in Cape Town. They're going to the one mm. in Europe. International how airports. how is that fair? How's that fair? Because they they are already given what, the what, other hand. One might argue. One might argue that affordability, not necessarily affordability. This Where were the parents of those who can't afford? When these other parents were waking them up, 
in order to what, afford what it for the experiment. What don't you think just because they, like, they, they are working their no, butts we're, off, we're, but the same, they, once again, they did not have the same opportunities. Yes. They started here. How can you expect someone that started here and someone that started here to end up in the same place and have the same amount of money? That is impossible. It's, you are saying you deserve to start in a better place. You deserve more. It, it's, and as our people, we are really being set back multiple years just by the apartheid just Before by apartheid. you know and as women already we are also set back being a black woman how where do we go but nevertheless i don't know if whether you know this from money um i saw his his, his interview at Lono Apo. i think his, his name was telling is Lono Apo, right he started from the ground like mm -hmm. like like from the ground with with a family I don't want to say they were mistreating him, but he was mischievous for some, for some sort, right? But now he's a millionaire, you see? So I think, I think, listen, 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 this is, the, this is, this is, this is an interesting one. Sorry, I got excited. So, so <laughs> how do you then, how do you then compare to, right? There's, there's children, there's kids, students from, from Great Holland that are now Can I take drugs and stuff. Yeah. Can I take that? You have me. From Kuro. No, 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 not. You have me from Kuro. After my trick, I end up doing drugs. Mm -hmm. You have Kaki from Literally Putwa, whatever. After my trick, seven distinctions. You off. Chat the content. It's psychological. It's how I was raised that got me into drugs. It's the pressure she felt. That opening chain, she had enough, so she had to break the chain. Now, listen. Now, it's 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 about it's psychological. It's about the pressure. Honestly, only in that cure, can you feel pressure from those that were better than me, and I ended up using drugs. Kate, on the other hand, was pressured by situation in Saskatchewan for her to change situation in Saskatchewan. Long understand. So it spirals back to that. I say all the other facilities. What do you want to be doing? How's the big boy? You're gonna get screwed. I say all the other facilities. You are doomed. How the big boy? You can make it. That's it. But how do how how does this one? Those other facilities know that they can make it. But I do still I? feel like that. Like that is also um, unfair. Like, I understand what you're saying that, like, obviously with certain um, situations, that is the case. But as well, like, think about it like this. Some people, like, people are not the same. We can't, like, force people to fit the mold that we've created, you know. That is very unfair because, like, I, like, maybe my, like, I can take, the, the situation in society and I can, you know, I can work in the corporate world and I can, like, I can climb the ladder and everything. But you need to think about the fact that just, like, as well as them not getting the same quality of, like, education, they're not getting the same quality of, like, psychological support. Mm -hmm. Because that then mental health is not focused on. Yeah. A lot of things are not focused on. So I think that's a big point that we need to also work on is that we need to make everything equal just because I'm saying you will have the same opportunities doesn't mean that you'll get to the same place as me because in the end we're not the same. Just, just to equality is equality is trying to get us to the same place so we can run the race together. But Saying just because I'm giving you equal opportunities does not mean that I will get there as well. So it's about helping people get mm -hmm. to that place where we can all start at the same place. Oh, okay, no, it makes sense. It makes sense. And unfortunately, even though this is the, the debate is pressure packed, is fact packed, um, we have arrived at the end of our first ever episode of Roundtable. Please stay tuned. 
for the next time, next episode, next week. Was same time, uh, yes. same place. So thank you, Daddy. Also, Sister Kate. Sister Cat. Oh, yo, that's a wrap. No, let me let it. Thank you. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh,